One of the things we found really early on is that data was a critical part of the COVID response. Imagine if at the city level you could say, well, there's 10 ICU beds or 20, and here are the hospitals where patients should get transferred. By the end of the summer, we were able to get to about 18 hospitals. We had about a million records of data for people who had been tested for COVID. But then we've added where now immunization data is captured, and we're looking to continue to add data sets to it. Amazon Health Lake has really helped us with this project because uh, we took what was a really quickly developed pilot to something that's production ready. Going beyond COVID now and looking at health equity in general, we applied for and received a Robert Wood Johnson Foundation grant to look at health equity and um, how that was impacting care based on where you live and social determinants of health. And the outcomes of the community really should be equal. Because we've noticed that if you go just five miles from downtown Chicago to the west side, there's about a 13 to 15 year life expectancy drop. It's tied to lower access to care, lower primary care visits, lower immunization rates. So what we're seeking to do is bring in data from the electronic record, um, the discrete structured data, but also notes. We capture a lot of information still in notes that we type. It's been estimated 75 to 80% of the information about patients and about care is captured in that unstructured text. In traditional kind of computing models, that data is not usable. And so you're missing about 80%. That's the power of natural language processing. It can really unlock all that information. And we're bringing in hypertension, actual ambulatory blood pressure measurements from the community put that all together, and we're going to build predictive models around social determinants of health. We don't have to spend time building extraneous items or reinventing something, it already exists, and it allows us to move to the analytics phase much quicker. We're building it for this hypertension condition, but we have a number of other diseases that we want to start looking at that are common. So diabetes, care, obesity, metabolic syndrome, some of the common diseases in our community on cancer care. The great thing about using HealthLake, using the Fire API, is that the data structure will remain the same. All we'll really need to change will be the app layer and modify based on which syndrome we're looking at so we view this as a population health application and the framework to be something we'll use for a series of diseases. Our sense is that's gonna really just draw an enormous amount of power to analytics and what we can do with the data that we have.